I started this dojo 13 years ago. I'm a Nikkei Yonsei. Probably about 90 years ago is when my great-grandparents moved here from Japan. I'm the black sheep of the family. Everyone plays hockey, and I was the first one that went back to the roots, did martial arts, did Japanese martial arts, first one to speak Japanese. I am Nisei. It's helped me connect with my relatives in Japan quite a bit. When they find out that I'm doing Kudo, a lot of them get quite excited and are happy to talk to me about my relatives that used to do Kudo, show me pictures and little mementos, and really just share with me their knowledge about it as well. I've really enjoyed connecting with them in that way. The Yumi is what excites everyone when they see it, but it's the discovery that keeps us coming back. I would say that my favorite part about Kudo is the meditative aspect of it. So it's not just a sport, like it's more than that. There's kind of like a spiritual aspect of it. And actually when I describe it to my friends, I tell them we're meditating. We just happen to shoot arrows. <laughs> Kudo is the product of Rei, respect. It's an individual sport, but it's also a group sport. And we all work together. When a senpai talks, you agree and listen. Don't argue. If there is any disagreement, there's perfectly okay. It's just not in the dojo. It's something we would do at a bar in a conversation type setting, but definitely not in the dojo. It's quite repetitive and some people might consider it to be a bit boring, but every time I finish practice, it feels really good. I love that those two hours of practice, I'm able to have a silent, focused, concentrated time. I love coming back here because it helps with my everyday life. As a mother of two, it helps me mentally to be able to focus on my breathing for even 10-15 minutes a week with a blank mind. I feel like I renew myself and I recharge for the rest of the week. As an adult, anger has no place. It doesn't help you get a job. It definitely doesn't help you with your family. You have to calm your mind to hit the target. The target isn't moving. The only reason you miss the target is because of yourself. So to hit the target, you have to calm your mind, not be angry, not have any self-doubt. Kudo has definitely helped me become a better husband, better father, just a better person in life. I like that I meet people out of my normal social bubble. Just like Vancouver, we all have diverse backgrounds and different upbringings. But somehow we are all connected through this Japanese practice, and now we're kind of like a big family. The social aspect really keeps me coming back, and I love spending time with my fellow Kudoka. Kudo helps people with their sense of belonging. That's probably why it's a never-ending journey. <laughs>